Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on Picnic Point Kayak Fishing, well, I'm going to take the kayak out with the new seat risers I built and give them a, a sea trial. Hope to do a little fishing too, maybe catch something. I haven't had much luck with freshwater fishing, but we'll see what we can do. Stay tuned and we'll be on the water in just a second. Seahawk in a tree at a lake. first try with the new seat risers I have some reservation about my about the fact that I used wood this time wood for these things even with the oil paint it seems like the MDF absorbed a lot of it and I'm not sure that it'll be very water resistant the height is wonderful I'm really liking the height it's stable it's even on the even on the water the it doesn't feel any different stability wise than it did before I had the seat risers so let me just do a quick paddle around we'll see how it how the risers feel oh yeah having the extra height gives me more power to pedal Definitely, definitely a more comfortable pedaling position. Better view, a little more above the water. I noticed that this, this extra height, even just a little bit of body shift, the boat responds a little more leany, but it still seems to be stable. I mean, I'm fully, I mean, like I'm about to go out of the boat here. <laughs> I don't think the boat will tip, but like I'm off balance enough that I could fall off this seat. So it's definitely more sensitive to your body shift, but the boat still is really stable. It's a lot easier to pedal. So that's great. doesn't wobble much it's creaky with the wood but yeah I like this seat height it's really great really great trying to spill my cooler out of the back of the boat here. Yeah. 
if you're considering making or buying or having someone make seat risers for you for your pelican for you for any any kayak that has a really low seat definitely do that because it makes a lot of difference I imagine with the circular pedaling kayaks the pe propeller driven kayaks I imagine this height would be a lot easier for that circular pedaling motion it's definitely easier for the front to back motion of the fin drive that's really great I like this a lot I almost forgot to talk about the standing up from these this seated position in the old seat it was too low for me to easily stand up in the boat now I'm almost seated to where I could just lean forward and stand up but I'm gonna try this in the middle of the lake <laughs> here we go and um, we'll see how that goes with the higher seat I, I totally expect the seat to be easier to stand up in but oh yeah absolutely easier and I expect of course that I won't that I won't have to uh, fall into my seat to sit down well it's a little bit of a fall but it's still much better than it was before so there's that after I built this wooden set and like I said I feel like the paint is it's gonna take a lot of paint to make these waterproof so after I built these, I noticed that people are building them out of PVC, a three quarter in, inside diameter PVC, which would be a lot faster than making these out of wood and definitely waterproof. I have reservations about how strong it is, like maybe if you push it on it, maybe the PVC would break. Uh, but I think, I think that'd be a good choice. So I'll build and document the process of building the PVC ones and we'll give those a try in the in the fresh water and of course with the PVC ones I could build them a little taller but again breaking the PVC so anyway smash that like button smash that subscribe button and we'll get to uh, building some some PVC versions of these seat risers and I'll let you know how they work if they're flexible you'll get to see if they fail It'll all be on camera. Okay, so we made it. We're out on Lake Serene. We're gonna we're gonna try to catch some bass. I'm gonna fish around these docks, and there's a down tree over there for some structure. I do see some arches on the fish finder. Ouch! Trouble hook. that's it as you can see I got skunked yet again on the fresh water <laughs> I have very little luck with freshwater fishing obviously if you've got helpful tips and pointers as far as coercing bass and trout into my boat you can leave them in the comments but until next time keep fishing and stay safe